now. And so this is um, kind of what our sculpture department looks like. We're located in the basement of the Columbus building. And so that way we're about two flights down. So we have really high floors and that's nice. So that way students can work extremely largely if they want. And our sculpture program offers a wide range of tools and materials for students to work for as well as state of the art facilities. Students can do everything from carving to mold making, woodworking to metal pouring. Students are pushed conceptually to consider four curricular themes of the department, which are permanence and ephemerality, public practice, space and place, and systems. This department offers advanced studio courses, so students can apply to those if accepted, they get their own studio space. And so now we're gonna head into the classroom. And so this is what a pretty typical sculpture classroom looks like. Um, you can see how high the ceilings are, so that way students really do have a lot of room to work and they can also suspend installations if they're interested. Um, you can also see the storage within the classroom, and so if you're working on something really large or really heavy, you can store that within your classroom, and then all of our classrooms are open 24-7 in this department, so if you want to, you can come back whenever you'd like to work on it. You don't have to lug big pieces back and forth. And then each classroom includes a downdraft table. That's what um, this blue table is. And so these are nice because they have built-in ventilation. So that way, if you're woodworking or working with foam, they can kind of clean up some of that mess for you. So this is the base space. This is a critique space for the sculpture department. And it's mainly used for sculpture classes, but other classes can get access to it as well. It's just designated for sculpture because it has those high ceilings as well. And so, Critiques are very important at SEIC. We're a credit, no credit school. So instead of turning in your piece to your professor and just getting like an A plus, students put their work in front of the entire class for a critique and have a conversation about it. We feel that this feedback is a lot more useful to artists than just a letter grade because this gives students a lot of room to take risks, experiment, get inspiration for future projects, fix things that need fixing, and learn how to develop their work and defend their concepts. So over here we have material source. And so this is a space on campus where students can purchase materials and supplies. There are other material sources on campus, so this one mainly focuses on materials for the departments within this building. It sells wood, metals, plastics, acrylics, plaster, clay, wax, screen printing supplies, safety equipment, and tons more. Material sources prices are cost competitive with other businesses, so it's really nice to just have a convenient spot in the building to get materials so that way students don't have to waste studio time with running errands. Um, right around this corner, we also have the mold making studio and the mold making studio allows students to make molds and multiples utilizing materials such as plaster, rubber, plastic, wax, resin, and alginate. Students can make pieces from already existing objects and learn safe ways to do body casting. This space is equipped with a vacuum chamber as well as proper ventilation so you can deal with toxic materials without, you know, having to worry about poisoning yourself. Over here, this is the entrance to our wood shop. And so the Columbus Woodshop is one of three woodshops that we have on campus. This one is not department specific, so any student on campus can work here as long as that they're authorized. Woodshop authorizations last for two years and include students learning and demonstrating how to use every piece of machinery in the woodshop. This way students in the space know how to use it safely and efficiently. Woodshops are some of the few spaces on campus that are not open 24-7 just because there's always faculty and staff maintaining the space and just making sure everything's running smoothly. This space also includes a tool checkout. And so with tool checkout, students can get, you know, hammers, wrenches, drill bits, really whatever they need for their projects um, completely free. It's a library loan system. And so you just bring it back on time, not damage. You don't have to pay a thing. And that's really convenient. So that way students don't have to lug like an entire tool chest or spend a lot of money on that. And so we have uh, other wood shops that cater towards other departments. Um, though this one, anyone on campus can use it. Over here we have our metal shop. Similar to the wood shop, the metal shop also requires an authorization for students to work within it. Though with the metal shop, students need to get further authorization for different sections. Authorizations last for two years and teach students how to you know, use the, safe, the space safely and efficiently. This is one of the few spots on campus that isn't 24 seven, so neither are wood shops, because there is always a lab manager on duty to make sure that you know, all the machines and equipment are working safely and smoothly and they're there if students need any assistance. And so this space includes a forge where students can do blacksmithing techniques for metalworking, three different welding stations for MIG, TIG, and oxy -elxentiline. and the light metal studio, which is for work that's kind of smaller scale or with um, non-ferrous or precious metals. 
And so we also have a plasma cutter in this space, which works very similar to a laser cutter, but it can handle materials such as steel and copper. And then this space also includes lots of other machinery for cutting and manipulating metal in different types of ways. And so students all over campus can use this space. You just need to be authorized. Over here, we have the foundry. The foundry is a spot on campus where students can do solid metal pouring. We are really lucky to have this space because we're one of the only art schools to have a foundry on campus. Students basically build sculptures out of wax, build up a sand or ceramic shell around it, pour out the wax and pour in the metal. We do pours in aluminum, bronze, and iron, and students can melt down their pieces after documentation and continue using the metal for future projects if they'd like. Over here, we have the digital fabrication lab. The digital fabrication lab is an open access facility that any student on campus can use as long as they're authorized. There are similar spaces in our Sharp, Sullivan, and McLean buildings though. The digital fabrication lab in this one is the largest. This space includes laser cutters, 3D printers, and 3D scanners. Laser cutters can cut and engrave into specific materials. And you know, if you want to use something you know, other than like the already approved materials, which is usually like wood, plastics, acrylics, cardboard, paper, leather, like there's a lot of approved materials, but if you want to use something special, you can just go through the staff and they'll see if it can work. Um, this space also includes a lot of 3D printers that print in a variety of plastics. So students can also print in resin as well, which always gives it kind of like a clear translucent look. There's also 3D scanners available for checkout. So if you want to scan any person, place, or thing to make a 3D model of that, you can make 3D you can edit the 3D model or you can make 3D print copies. And so that's really nice if you're trying to work in multiples. And so this is another one of our spaces that isn't open 24 seven, just because there's always gonna be a lab monitor there if you need assistance with a project or if you just wanna show you a cool demonstration or something like that. And yeah, that's it for our sculpture department. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. Hope you enjoyed. Awesome. Thank you so much, Annabelle. So um, thank you for joining us for this tour of SAAC Sculpture Department. Um, I want to just give you a couple of resources that you can use to get further questions answered um, or to learn more about the school or about the Sculpture Department. So our office number and our office email address are both listed right here, 312-629-6100 or ugadmis at saac.edu. For more information about the school or about the sculpture department, you can visit our website, saic.edu. And for specific information regarding admissions or your application to the school, you can visit saic.edu slash admissions. So thank you again for joining us for our tour today um, and have a great day.